Fast and friendly guides from Classic FM. Romantic music, so good, they named it twice, both early and late. In all, from 1800-ish to around 1910-ish, with a break for oranges around 1850. Beethoven was both classical and early romantic, and with romantic, the symphony was king, though people like Schubert wrote around 600 songs too, all on free-spirited romantic subjects. For romantics, it was all about originality, and post-revolution, self-expression was everything. Technologically, the piano with its iron strings, able to be both massive and tiny, became the favoured instrument, cue Chopin and later the virtuoso Liszt, bringing piano to life. We have huge orchestral works telling all manner of stories. Wagner pushing the rules even further, reinventing everything, new instruments, bespoke venues, ridiculously long works, he did it all. Opera went real life, Bizet's smoking deadly heroine Carmen, Puccini's total immersion world in Tosca. En France, musical impressionists, like their painter counterparts, transcribed their emotions onto the stave. Listen out for the sound of love in romantic music. And brace yourself for huge orchestras. Mahler for one decided less than a thousand performers was simply not enough. Romantics. Size was everything.